friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I am Mrs. Ragini, your favorite washer's wife. Today, I want to share a recipe which I love the most and the most. That is nothing but Karela. I know Karela, I love it. Yes, I love Karela. I make different kinds of preparations with Karela. That is nothing but bitter gourd. With bitter gourd, today we are going to make it chips. So to make this bitter gourd chips, first we need bitter gourd. Bitter gourd is nothing but karela. We call it as kakarkaya in Telugu. So what I did is, I did not peel the skin. You should not peel the skin. Usually I peel the skin but for curries. But some people they don't love to peel the skin. So with the skin itself, I have cut into nice round slices like this. Just make into thin slices so that you will get an excellent chips. So to make this we need oil to fry either you take more of oil to fry or you can take little bit less oil and you can deep fry little by little whichever way you want you can do that. First we are going to put it in a bowl. Dear friends whenever I make this bitter gout chips I love to take bitter gout little bit bigger size so that I can get a bigger roundels. So here I have the bitter gout bigger size in this we are going to add first little bit salt as per taste you can add salt and some turmeric mix this first don't crumble it just very gently mix it otherwise this will break because we cut it into thin slices and in this add some ginger garlic paste and some chili powder little bit extra and some finely chopped coriander and some curry leaves if you want you can finely chop the curry leaves and add so just add some curry leaves and mix this once more and today I am adding little bit of rice flour I want more of crispiness very little of rice flour you can just add one teaspoon of rice flour that's it and mix it nicely after mixing all the ingredients also you can rest this for 10 minutes after resting for 10 minutes what happens moisture will come out and you know this ingredients will stick to your bitter gourd so after 10 minutes you can fry it or you can just fry it immediately. I am doing immediately so I need little bit of moisture. So what I am doing is I am just adding very little of water, very little. If you are resting then you need not add water because anyway you know the bitter gourd because we added salt and all this masala it will ooze out moisture. So here the oil is also nice and hot. Now this ring we are going to deep fry it. Just check once whether the oil is hot. Yeah. And this we are going to deep fry till we get a nice golden color. So friends, here you can see the bitter gout chips are nicely fried and nice and golden color. Little bit dark color then only this tastes good. And I told you use very little oil because the oil will spoil. So always whenever you are making such type of dishes you can just reduce the oil and you know try to fry it little by little or just take a non-stick pan which is flat and pour the oil and then you can put it and deep fry so that you can fry entirely at one time so whichever way it's your optional see nice crispy and this won't take much time to fry i'm going to fry some more and then we are going to taste it so friends, here you can see the another batch is also done. In between I was having a couple of them. It's so nice. I make different kinds of you know variations in bitter gourd. I already told you and this is done. What you can do is once you are all the chips are ready, just sprinkle little bit of chaat masala or chili powder or black salt. Then you will get little bit you know in between that spiciness and little bit of sourness then this chips taste excellent but whichever way it may be I love to eat this vegetable very very nice dear friends you need to try this you can hear my sound of you know that crunchiness these are so nice and crunchy add good amount you know you can if you want you can just increase little bit of rice flour and you need to deep fry till you get a nice color like this then only you will have your bitter gourd nice and crispy i am enjoying this if you want to have this 
you need to make it very very simple so see you in another session with some more recipes that too home style